Good morning, Cakes of the Plain. It is your favorite traveling baker, and today we are joining the food tourism and food media program here at Centennial College on a field trip. We are going to go check out the Cultivate Festival, which is in Port Hope. Now, Port Hope is probably about an hour northeast out of the city. Um, I'm really excited to check out the festival. I'm really excited to see all of the great stuff that we're going to see there. Um, I'll take a, a nice swing around. It is a Sunday, so most of us who are here are either finishing up our labs or joining us on the field trip. I'll share more information. I can't wait to check out all the food, and we'll talk to you shortly. See you soon. It's in a plane. We have arrived safely at the town of Port Hope. We're just gonna head into right behind us here where the little Cultivate Food Festival is. We're gonna go check out not only some of the food, but the vendors and different things. I can't wait to show and share it with you and we will see you shortly. All right, so I'm heading over to the food and drink ticket booth. We're gonna buy some tickets and then we're gonna go around and sample some food. from a farm up yes. the road and I top it with a beautiful mayo of tahini and uh, garlic and chili sauce. Oh. And there's some sumac, which is uh, a wild um, edible, which we know about a lot. It's in Middle Eastern food a lot. You hear it all the time, sumac. But it's North America's answer to lemon. And it's beautiful. And it adds a lemoniness to fish without ceviche in the fish. It doesn't toughen it and make it and cook it chemically the way adding lime juice or lemon juice would. So it's a beautiful answer to a problem as well. It is absolutely delicious. Very delicate. You can taste the fish. Nothing is overpowered. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm loving balanced. that mayo. Yeah. Oh my, that is so, so good. So tell us a little bit. If people want to buy your book, they want to come and check out your food. Right well, away. you'll find my food in LCBO Food Drink Magazine, um, Globe and Mail. I'm also the food editor at Harris Food Magazine now. Um, and of course, you can always pick up a copy of my book anywhere, anywhere, Amazon, in bookstores. Um, and I live now in gorgeous Port Hope. Oh, so this is hometown. I left Toronto a year ago, and I am loving small town life. 
live because you know what? This is the epicenter of local food. And you know, fresh food makes such a difference. You guys know at home, when you eat something and it's fresh and delicious like this, you just want to keep eating it. So thank you so much for that. You're welcome. Thank you for taking the time. Pick up her book. I will post information on where you can find her, where you can buy her books, where you can check out all of her videos, everything that she does at the bottom of this video. Thanks, Cakes and a Plane. We'll see you soon. So Cakes in a Plane, it's me popping up again. As we continue to walk through the Cultivate Festival, I came across all of this delicious looking fresh food. And actually this gentleman back here that I'm gonna squeeze back and see, his name is Scott and he is the farmer and this is his farm. He's gonna tell us a little bit about his fresh food, what he grows and where you can find him. So Scott, thank you so much for taking the time. So tell us a little bit about your farm, where you guys are. Okay, so we're based out of Peterborough. Um, we're market gardeners, so we just sort of grow the standard fare for the market. Uh, and then we try and focus on some weirder stuff, like um, weird Asian vegetables and stuff. So Very to get people, uh, you know, interested in new things. Mm -hmm. we, I guess we're organically, um, we're not certified, but we practice all organic practices. And then we also have a focus on low plastic use, so we're not trying to use plastic mulch or plastic grill cover. I do have greenhouse, which is plastic cover. Right. Uh, <laughs> can't escape that really. But other than that, pretty low plastic use um, where we can. And then we also have more artisanal goods like the, like right. the braids and stuff. So. Right. Can I pick one of these up here to show them? This is absolutely beautiful. It's a combination here of garlic and different flowers. There's different sizes and things available. Great gifts, great unique things you can put into your home. And obviously, if people want to rush out here and contact you and get fresh, delicious, organic food and some really beautiful art as well, where can they find you? Um, so you can find us online is a good way to contact us at cgfarm.ca or um, on our Instagram at Cedar Grove Organic Farm. Okay. Um, we're pretty responsive there. Uh, and then through there, you can just message me and you can come to the Peterborough Market or the Lakefield Market. Uh, and we do pop-up markets and work work as well. Oh, perfect. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview. It's really appreciated. I'll post all the information on where you can find Scott and where you can find all of these fresh, delicious food below. And we'll see you again shortly. Thanks, guys. Bye. So I am here with Angela, and she's from Center and Main Chocolate Company. And upon walking, I was automatically drawn here. The flavors of chocolate she has is so very unique. Now, the favorite one I just sampled was the orange and rosemary, isn't it? Blood orange rosemary. Blood orange rosemary. Angela, tell us a little bit more about your chocolates. So what I do, I blend real uh, fruits, flowers, vegetables, and herbs into the chocolate directly. So I've developed a way of incorporating uh, water-based foods into chocolate. I take out all of the moisture, um, not just dehydrating, but I freeze dry it. And then I blend it, uh, I grind it up and blend it into the chocolate so the chocolate is flavored with real foods and not flavor compounds or extracts. Right. So you get all the nutritional benefits mm -hmm. of the chocolate, of the foods and the chocolate together. Oh, and the flavors are just amazing. So if people want to come and check out and try your blood orange rosemary, or the other one was the beets and gorge, that was delicious too. Thank you. Where can they find you? How can they get in touch with you? I'm located in Workworth, which is about uh, 20 minutes north of Brighton. So I'm just off the 401. And then my store is called Center and Main Chocolate, and uh, Workworth is the village. Perfect. And what I'll do as always, I'll post the information below. So if you want to take a little drive and check out some really delicious chocolate, say hi to Angela. You can do that. And once again, thank you so much. A pleasure. Lovely meeting you. Nice <laughs> meeting you, Wayne. We'll I am here with Martin. And Martin, or Martin, let me say it properly, yep. is from True Saffron. Am I saying that right? That's Saffron correct. Saffron yeah. True Saffron. And I want him to explain to you what's going on because it's super exciting and I can't wait for you to hear about it. Tell us about your product your company right so well in the spring uh, actually spring of 2016 we ordered 50,000 bulbs without a proper piece of land on which to plant them because our six acres are forest and river so totally unsuitable for saffron mm -hmm. and so we had to find an altruistic gentleman in the uh, work area mm -hmm. who was interested in our project 
and who wanted to 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 help us by renting us the land. Mm -hmm. So then it was also the worst drought in 95 years. Oh. Yeah. So planting them was a logistical, physical. Uh, it just it was a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they were in. We harvested 6,500 flowers, mm -hmm. and then the process of drying saffron is its quality. Uh, so if you dry it too hot, too long, you burn it and you make it brown and it shrivels and becomes very low grade sound. Okay. Uh, second year we picked, last fall, November 2017 in October, we picked over 78,000 flowers. That is a pound of saffron, 500 grams. Uh, that is a lot of saffron and it makes a lot of paella. Mm. But uh, what happened is we had it analyzed for a second time mm. by a laboratory to find out where we sit in the um, grades of saffron because there's so much fraud in the world of saffron. Oh, okay. you know, people will come up to us and say, why is your saffron red and not orange and yellow? Well, oh. that's saffron. That's right. not saffron. Those right. poor people, were they've been had. So anyway, our saffron came back the second year as being not only grade one, the highest rating according to the ISO, wow. but 45 points above in flavor and 116 points above that in the antioxidants, the wow. color, that vibrant yellow that it gives to paella or risotto especially. What an incredible achievement. Congratulations. That's so great. And you know what's exciting for me as a baker? There's saffron locally grown here in Ontario. Yeah, and it makes killer food, it makes killer scones and fantastic meringues, uh, infusing it into creme brulee, just the cream for four days in the fridge with about 20 stigmas. Oh, your friends and family will always talk about it, and your restaurant guests as well. And I just actually tried one of the little um, saffron meringues that you guys have here, and it is delicious. It's deep meringues. I like myself, but sometimes they tend to be a little bit on the uh, sweeter, higher side, and even though it's sweet, the the flavor of the saffron in there is unbelievable. It's subtle, but it comes through and it lasts on the palate. It absolutely does. Beautiful. So hey, if people want to rush over and get some saffron, where can we find you? They can find us online at truesaffron.ca and across mm -hmm. all social media at, at truesaffron. So that's for tr for Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and we deliver coast to coast, mm -hmm. uh, especially just the saffron at this point, not the infused products. Mm -hmm. Our crab apple for jelly just won first prize at the Workworth Fair. That's it just great. keeps going, but we're working hard and we're trying it to get trying to get it to more locations. Uh, we're heading towards Oshawa now, north to Peterborough. Uh, we'll be in the county in the spring. Perfect, perfect. And do you guys do tours and stuff like that? We or? we will host people this fall for the harvest. Oh, we will rent a space in work with look for it on social media mm -hmm. because we cannot handle what we expect to be 250,000 flowers. Of course, that's understandable. And you know what, guys? I will post all the information at the bottom of this video. If you want to come out and check out True Saffron or Saffron True Saffron, you'll get all that information over there. I absolutely recommend that you check them out. Try it, buy some, make something yummy, and then put a comment in the bottom about how amazing it was. Thank you so much again. I really appreciate you taking the time. And we'll see you on Cakes in a Plane. Bye. Okay, Cakes in a Plane, we are here at Guapo Cantina. I'm about to try one of their Sasha's tacos. It sounds delicious. It includes eggs and black beans. I'm here I'm speaking with Lance. Lance. This is Lance. He's going to tell us a little bit about Guapo's Cantina. Yes. So uh, we are located in Prince Edward County, town of Wellington, at Kente Winery and Vineyards. Uh, we've been open for uh, about three years. We do uh, events such as this, we do uh, catering oh, as well as um, our location, obviously, which is open Friday to Sunday throughout May to October. Oh, wow. So I can't wait to try this. If you want to come down to uh, Guapo's Cantina, I'll put the information at the bottom. You can check out their various taco options, enjoy some fresh food, and I'll share more with you from here on Cultivate. Thanks. We'll see you soon. Well, thank you for joining me, Cakes in a Plane, on this journey. It's been amazing. I really want to just run around and enjoy everything here. So I'm going to shut off the camera and just have some personal one-on-one -on -one time, eat some butter tarts, have something delicious, and I think I have one more beer ticket left. So you know I have to go back into that tent for sure. I will see you next time on Cakes in a Plane. Bye.